Smartphones have become an essential part of our life. All of us require phones for our daily life tasks. If you are a hacker or trying to learn hacking, you can turn your Android phone to a hacking device. In today's video, we are going to turn our Android phone into a full-fledged hacking device. Now before starting, this video is sponsored by KeysFan.com. KeysFan is a digital platform for purchasing license codes for different software like Windows operating system, games, editing software, and much more. You all guys know that the Windows 11 Pro is now generally available. We reimagined Windows 11 Pro to be the operating system for hybrid work. I encourage you to begin your Windows 11 Pro pilots and upgrades today for all eligible PCs. I recommend you to use KeysFan for purchasing your Windows 11 Pro because they provide most secure versions of Windows ever. Open the KeysFan website link provided in the description and purchase the Windows 11 Pro license code. Use the following coupon code to get 50% off. More details are provided in description. We are going to install Kaylee Linux on our Android phone. The Kaylee Linux is officially available for mobile phones, which is known as Kaylee Net Hunter. Kaylee Net Hunter is available for both rooted and unrooted phones. Before proceeding, let's understand the basic difference between rooted and unrooted phones. In a rooted device, we can add as many OS as possible since we have the ROM control, so we can flash it and can have more than one OS. In the unrooted devices, we cannot have more than one OS, since we can update only when the manufacturer has issued an update, because the OS is original, whereas in the rooted devices, it is pirated. Now let's move to our main topic and install KaliNet Hunter Rootless on our phone. For installing a KaliNet Hunter on your phone, you require some applications. Our first application is Termux. Termux is an Android terminal emulator which provides us with a bash shell to execute different commands. For installing Termux on your Android phone, open this website in your Android web browser by the link provided in the description. Now scroll down and download the latest version of Termux. Now install this application on your device. After installation, open Termux on your device and type the following command for setting up storage on your device for Termux. After setting everything up, Type package update and package upgrade for fully updating and upgrading your Termux. Now the next step is to install Kali NetHunter on Termux. For that open this website in your browser by the second link provided in the description. Now scroll down and you can see the installation process for Kali NetHunter root less. Here we are provided with some commands to install NetHunter. Let's copy them one by one and execute them in our Termux. We are already done with our first command. Now move to the second command. This command will install wgetInTermoX. After this command, copy the next command and paste it in your termoX. This command will download an executable file. After the complete download, give permission to the executable file by the following command. Now execute this file by this command. Here we go. Now you can see the Kali logo on the top. Now it is asking us which Kali NetHunter we want to install we will choose the first option to install Kali NetHunter Full. Now this will automatically download and install Kali NetHunter on Termux. This will take some time depending upon your network speed. So wait until it completes. Now you can see that it has been completed. Now our Kali NetHunter has been installed. Now restart your Termux application and just type NH. And here we go, the full-fledged Kali NetHunter is ready to use. Now let's run an Nmap scan and test this. You can see that our Nmap is working. Like everything, Kali Net Hunter Root Less also has some disadvantages. The main disadvantage is that you can't use those tools in this, which requires sudo or root permissions. If you want to run all the tools, like Metasploit and Zap, you have to root your phone, which is not recommended because it is dangerous. This is the command line interface of Kali Net Hunter, but we can also use it in the graphical user interface. If you want a dedicated video on Kali Net Hunter graphical user interface, comment me in the description. Here ends our today video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you, KeysFan, for sponsoring our today's video.